will say if you are seeing some items that are being um, advertised uh, through different influencer sites or pages, you may want to check inside the store. can see it there in comparison to the chocolate but I just think they're a cute sandal got a nice comfy padding well this one was the first one that, that I got I kind of wanted another new light bag good morning guys and happy Wednesday um, I'm about to run out to Walmart real quick there are a pair of pants that I'm hoping that they may have in store by the brand Scoop. I've been checking online and checking various stores and haven't been able to find uh, the pants. Uh, like I said, they've been out of stock. So I'm hoping um, that I'll be able to find them in store near me. Um, I did just finish doing a workout. I did a full body workout in boot camp class. Um, and then I actually just had a protein shake, um, add a little bit of oats and some fruit to that protein shake to try to meet my macro for the day for my protein. Also had some eggs as well. And so, yeah, I'm off to a pretty good start so far. Um, like I said, I'm a run to the store. I need to try to see if I can find a few things. I need to do some meal prepping as well. I'm working this weekend. And so I want to make sure I get that taken care of. So I don't have to be concerned about what we're going to be eating. So. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to run to Walmart and I'll see you guys there. Alright y'all, so mission accomplished. Found the pink slacks by Scoop that I've been looking for. Um, so I will say if you are seeing some items that are being um, advertised uh, through different influencer sites or pages, you may want to check inside the store. Because um, like I said, when you click the links and stuff, a lot of the stuff is not available online however if you go to your local store you may be able to find it there so um anyway uh, i found those in addition to many many other things um and then i also did pick up some groceries so um we're headed now i've got one more errand to run i need to run by the bank and then we're going to get home so i can um get started with cooking some dinner so i will catch up with you guys later
All right, so I just came back in from the store. Um, got some sweet potato fries cooking. I'm going to eat it with a piece of salmon and some kind of vegetables, whatever I can find around here that's gonna be quick to pop in the microwave or steam real quick and then eat. Um, but yeah, just came back in from the grocery store, had to replenish some fruit uh, and some of the bare necessities and things I like to keep in the house. But um, I also picked up some flowers that they um, had in there. They had some pretty good looking roses in the store today. So I did get a couple of those and I'm gonna try to make a little bit of an arrangement. But um, right now, like I said, I need to get ready to eat something. And um, I'm gonna try to show you guys what I actually purchased from Walmart. Um, I'll probably do a try on haul in another video, but um, before I end the vlog, I will pick up the camera so I can share the items that I was able to find in my local Walmart.
right guys so i was gonna share um the items that i picked up from walmart um i thought about just doing the items that i picked up today but i still haven't shared the other items that i have either picked up online or uh, during another shopping trip over the weekend so um, because of so many pieces i think that i'll just wait and share them all together in one collective haul uh, being that i think that if i try to share it now you know even though it wouldn't be a try on haul even trying to share it at this moment it would just be kind of redundant in sharing the items again in a later vlog so i've decided that i'm just going to go ahead and share the items uh in one collective spring haul um and so the next video that i post after this one likely uh will be that walmart haul spring edition and so um yeah like i said it's quite a bit of pieces hopefully i can get that all done uh recorded and uh put together within the next couple of days or so and this way um if the items are still available or if it's something that you're interested in you'll be able to pick it up too but <laughs>
right y'all so um as you can see i did get in a very good workout uh this morning um did a lot of strength training today probably fatigued my muscles um more than i have in quite a while but anyway got a good workout in been pretty productive today though not as productive as i would like to be i didn't get a lot of the things done around the house that i wanted to but i have been pretty much at it all day so i'm going to take a rest break um i did just finish recording a walmart try on haul uh spring edition so that should be coming up if you if it doesn't come up before this vlog it'll be up after this vlog but yes i just finished recording a try on haul which is very time consuming kudos to all full-time uh content creators who do try on hauls and work with different brands and things because it is very very time consuming but um i'm starting to have a lot of fun with it and so i am uh working on the art of content creating hopefully uh it will turn out to be something or come together well but anywho um we're about to run out to the store real quick gonna go to probably bath and body works need to grab some um aromatherapy type things and so we're gonna run out and go to the store come back and i really need to eat because it has been a long day and i have barely eaten anything for being so busy all day so we're gonna run out go to the store and come back so that i can have a good meal good shower and get some rest did they record anything that I was just sitting up here saying? <laughs> Come on. I just wanna lay here inside of your arms. Maybe we could jump back to the start. And you never would talk to me then if we never met, babe. If we never met. Just thinking about my baby he is 17 he is soon to be graduating high school and he's very very smart very bright as all my babies are um, also very athletic and he has been getting um, a few offers from a couple of schools a couple of vlogs back you guys may have seen where we went and visited a school for uh the possibility of him playing football for that school um he's since gotten uh an offer for running track as well um he doesn't really care for that school um he likes the program but he doesn't really like the school and its surroundings so um, I don't know if that will actually be an option for him or not, but, um, likely not. Um, it is one of the schools that is closer for him. Um, he's also heard from a school in New York, which he did not tell me, but he said that he had kind of ruled it out because he felt like it was too far. So he didn't want to go to that school, wasn't really even considering going to school there. Um, but the other day he got an offer from a school in North Carolina <laughs> and I know that he, at some point a year or so ago, he was interested in going to school in North Carolina. Well, for me, <laughs> that's still a little far, um, but I know that it may very well be a good opportunity for him. Um, 
I'm just not handling it that well. Even though he hasn't really committed, he hasn't committed to any schools. In fact, there was a school here in Georgia that he actually said that he wanted to go to. Um, but it seems like he's actually really considering the school in North Carolina. Um, first year, I don't really want him to go away that far. Ultimately, um, I made a couple of uh, reels and uh, it was just shots or um, clips of some of his um, meets where he was doing a couple of his events. But anyway, just replaying them, it just kind of brought me to tears. Um, and I don't really know why it's been why I'm crying so early. Um, I haven't, this is not my first time going through this. I've got two daughters. Um, one is actually in school right now, um, but she comes home fairly often. Um, my oldest came home fairly often as well. Um, but in any event, I know he's a little bit different. He's a boy, number one. Number two, his habits, his social life, his schedule is different than theirs. And so I don't know if it will work out that way with him when he gets ready to go off to school like it did with my girls. But I don't even know if it's that. I think it's more so just the idea that he's going to be leaving to go to school, which I've always been a big advocate for. I want them to get their education. Um, and so, yeah, I just, I don't know. Like I said, I'm just having a moment today, which it seems like they're coming fairly often. He's set to graduate in about two months. So um, I know the next couple months will be kind of busy as I'm trying to prepare for him graduating, doing all the senior things. Um got a trip planned for us uh, when he graduates we'll take a family trip normally we take a family trip uh, in the summertime anyway before they go back to school but this year it will be set based on him graduating so um got a few things that are coming up and planned but I don't know I, I tell him I tease him all the time I tell him I said there was a time when he was you know going to kindergarten even before kindergarten when he was in pre-k um, and he would, they would pick him up from work. Um, the school bus would pick him up from my job. And he used to cry and hold on to my leg. And he didn't want to go. He didn't want to leave me. He would, you know, cry. And I would just encourage him and give him hugs and kisses and tell him, you know, mommy's coming to pick you up. But it won't be long. You know, I would just love on him a little bit when he would cry and, you know, try to make him feel better. But... <laughs> Now it's reversed and I'm hanging on to him and, oh, like I said, I don't even know if I will share this or not. I just kind of thought maybe air out how I'm feeling. Um. Who knows, I may look back and, well, I know it's not going to be as bad as I feel like it could be or the realness of how it feels at this moment. Um, but he's got some good opportunities and I am very proud of him. <laughs> I just love my kids. And maybe more attached to them than I should be. Um, and maybe not. I don't know. Don't judge. I'm, I'm not going to judge myself for the way I feel. Um, so, anyway. I'm supposed to be working out. And here I am sitting here looking at videos crying like a baby. But anyway, let me get this workout in because I had intentions of getting some stuff done today and 
it ain't happened yet. So let me get on it. Alright guys, so I have finished working out. I managed to get a real good workout in uh, despite my emotional state prior to my workout. Um, I managed to pull it together, but yeah. Anyway, um, like I said, I don't really know why, you know, the emotions come and go the way that they um, have been. I guess it's because it's getting closer to him graduating and everything but I don't know like I said I've been through this before so I don't understand why um I'm going through the emotions that I am um but maybe because he is my son versus my girls and I don't even know if that makes a difference because I cried like a baby when they got ready to go as well but anyway I managed to pull myself together so I'm getting ready to um run out I've got to go and take back a bikini that I bought from Target. Um, I thought it was really pretty. I got it so that I could um, take it on my trip when we go um, out of town in a couple months. But um, it the the chest area in the chest area is really ill fitting. It's kind of got this square shape to it. The color is really nice. It's a bold orange color, which I'll show you. Hang on. So it's this really nice bold orange color. Um, and normally when I buy my bikinis or my bathing suits from Target, I'll get them in a size small. Um, sometimes I'll do a medium up top, just depending. But I love the color of this one. Nice orange pop of color. But like I said, the, the top is just weird fitting. I don't know. I guess it's like a bandeau style, which I've bought these before. But it fits really, really odd shaped on my chest anyway. So I'm going to take this back to um, the store. Um, I normally don't try on bathing suits. I don't really like the idea of trying them on. Um, normally, if I get it, I'm pretty sure that I can wear it and that it'll fit well. But I'm going to take that one back because I don't like, again, the way that the chest area feels. But um, after I take that back to the store, I'm going to go and grab me something to eat. I'm trying to think of something that'll be um, kind of sort of healthy. I don't feel like cooking and I don't have anything prepped as I should have, but... I'm going to run out and probably grab some eggs and bacon or something from somewhere and um, come back here. I've got some things that I need to do. I want to finish working on my bookcase that um, is downstairs in my piano room. Um, and so I'm going to try to work on that a little bit today. Hopefully I can get done with it, but I really don't know <laughs> whether I'm going to get done with it or not. I'm kind of feeling lazy now. But anyway, got this um, lip gloss made by Summer Fridays. Um, I picked it up from Sephora. I actually got it in another shade too, but I like the way that it feels on the lip. I just wanted to see whether or not there was some truth to the hype about it. I don't know if it's worth 20 ish, $24 or so, um, but it does feel really nice on my lips and it does add a nice little tint of color to the lip. But um, I got 
this along with a couple of other things from Sephora. So um, I'll try to share that in this vlog, uh, those items that I picked up from there. Um, also got a couple of things. You saw that we went to Bath and Body Works the other day. So I'll share the couple of things that I got from there as well. But yeah, um, like I said, I'm getting ready to run out real quick and make the exchange. I don't, I probably won't make an exchange. I'll probably just take it back. Um, cause I'm not really in a rush to find anything for the trip yet, even though, you know, here and there I'll be picking some things up, but, um, probably just take that back and then run and get some breakfast, come back, eat that, and then try to, um, work on those bookcases downstairs. But also too, I've been watching Insecure on Netflix and when it was actually running or airing, I wasn't, I never watched it, but it's a, it's a cute little show, um, different <laughs> but cute um and so when i get back i'll probably watch a little bit of that as well while i'm trying to work on that bookcase and hopefully hopefully that'll help me kill two birds with one stone you know catching up on some netflix stuff and working on the bookcases downstairs but anyway that's a whole lot of rambling for nothing um just wanted to check in before i get busy today so yeah I don't get it. I don't know why I got these shades on because it ain't a drop of sun in the sky. But I think that these things are so cute. Found them on Amazon. I think they were like $12 or something like that. Cute little aviators. Nice brown, neutral light color, I think. But yeah, $12 on Amazon why I pick now to get out the house I don't know because it's freaking raining but let's go ahead and get this over with y'all so back in from um, my little target run I didn't find anything else that I wanted I did find a denim skirt um, that I'll probably be sharing in a target haul uh, coming up if not in the next video uh, the following one probably in about a week that uh, video will come out with the target haul that I've got um, but yeah I highly doubt that I'm gonna get around to the shelving downstairs after going outside in that rain i'm just feeling quite lazy at the moment so All right, guys, as promised, I'm going to um, share the um, couple of things that I picked up from um, Bath and Body Works and my little Sephora order um, that I got in earlier this week. Um, and then also, too, I forgot I had got a couple of little bags and some uh, sandals that I found at Target. So just wanted to jump on. So I'm going to share that stuff now. Um, like I said, this was the Sephora order and nothing big. I didn't really order a lot of stuff. I needed some more um, lip glosses and things like that. And um, I wanted to try out the Summer Friday stuff because it's a lot of hype, of course, out there on it. 
And so um, I got, I'd already gotten the, um, the Summer Fridays in the shade, what shade is that? So this one is in the shade, which I shared it earlier, Pink Cloud. I think that's what that says. I don't have my glasses on, but Pink Cloud. And it's just this nice, uh, light, pinky light color. If you can see that there's pretty light, uh, complected. Really, KJ? It's got that, it's a nice little pinky light color almost like a natural color on me um nothing real extreme i guess because of my complexion it really doesn't stand out all that much it just kind of looks like a lip gloss on me plus well my bottom lip anyway is naturally pink anyway so but yeah i got this one and i like the way that it felt um in the process i wanted this other color and uh they didn't have it in store so i ordered it online and this one is rosewood nights Hopefully, you can see that there. But Rosewood Nights, and it's more like a more like a chocolate light -like color, or it's, it's, I know it's darker. It looks like chocolate, um, but I'll show you there how it looks on me or on my skin tone. And again, kind of sort of like a nudish light -like color, but it has more of a darker tint to it and so got that and then the other summer fridays lip gloss that i got is a lip butter balm and this one was in what shade is this cherry it's in the color cherry and cute packaging by the way um just has this kind of like reddish like color to it if i can get it to come out just a little bit so you can see it there in comparison to the chocolate so pick that up and then just got another uh, Mario Badesco uh, Aloe and Herb Rose Water Spray, which I use a lot of times, uh, typically at in the evening, sometimes in the morning, uh, but when I'm doing my skincare. So picked up another one of these. I use this pretty often, and so I run low on that a lot. Um, and then I got this Glow Recipe Niacinamide, uh, the Hue Drops, and I actually use the original version of this but i got this one in the tinted serum in the color was well, sun glow it's like a tinted serum and i actually used the original um glow recipe hue drops this one i think i'll probably wear more so in the summertime or as it warms up outside so i got this stuff on my hands excuse me let me get this off best I can anyway stick that in there but yeah um so I got this tinted serum and like I said it's really just like dew drops or makes the skin look dewy uh, and like I said I do use the original version but I wanted to try this one out for the summertime on me it probably would just create like a natural looking glow maybe that's what it looks like on the skin or on my skin and then just blending it in, it kind of has this like bronzy glow effect to it. And I guess if you don't overdo it or use too much, just adds like a nice little shine. So that is without, this is with. And like I said, these are the, um, this is the Sun Glow Serum that I'll probably be using in my skincare uh, in the summertime. I think it looks pretty pretty nice on the skin time will tell i like the original like i said i don't have any issues with it it doesn't feel oily or heavy or anything like that so um we'll try this one out and i will check back in with y'all on that and let you know how i'm liking that then i just got one of the um one of the rihanna plush pudding um lip mask uh, i hear that these come highly highly 
um, recommended. Um, I know that there's a original kind of note. I don't really know what the scent of that one is. This one is Kalahari Melon. Kalahari Melon. And just wanted to do something different, especially approaching the spring summer season. Uh, I do like fruity scents, and so that's why I went with this one. But I'll check back in on this one and let you guys know how I'm liking this too. Typically, I use the Laneige. I usually use the Laneige at night. And so I'll probably keep this in my car, in my purse, and just use it during the daytime just to kind of have something to compare it to and see how I like it. See if it keeps my lips moisturized during the day. And yeah. Oh, and lastly, I got this, um, I got a Sephora lipstick. The It's by the Sephora brand. And this one is in the color, what is this? All right, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, this one is in the color, or it's in number 24, is Too Busy Brown. So it's called Too Busy Brown. Um, but yeah, I picked this one up. Just I wanted a darker lipstick color. I normally do like neutrals or semi like nude or like a pink or red, but I wanted something darker. It just has that little chocolatey like color on it. And I like that. Let me try just a little bit right there. That's nice. But I don't know. Does it look like I smoke? Wearing this, I don't know, I can't tell. It's a nice chocolatey light color though, but I'm gonna try it out. I'll see how I feel. I may love it and then I may not, time will tell. Um, but lastly, I got this coconut foot mask and really just picked this up because my feet have been feeling a little drier. I think some of that is coming from me, um, of course, working out and the tennis shoes and socks and things that I'm wearing and the hopping and jumping around and stuff. So just wanted to give my feet a little bit of extra love. And so I picked up one of these Sephora foot mask. It's the coconut foot mask. Some of you guys may have already used it before. I've never used one of them before. So like I said, I'm going to try that out. But yeah, that's what I picked up from Sephora. It's from my online order. And then um, I said I was going to stop buying stuff out of Bath and Body Works because for the most part, I really don't use their um, lotions and things anymore. I used to be big and heavy on that buy three, get this. Excuse me, buy three, get three and all this. Never buy it when it's regular price. I always get it when it's on sale, but... Anyway, I do like the aromatherapy, so I picked up a couple of the body washes from there. Um, and so I got the Calm Haven Lavender and Iris. I hope that that is focusing. I'm not sure if it is or not, but got that one. Actually, I got two of these, and obviously I must have really liked the way that it smelled for me to pick up two of them. <sighs> It does smell really nice. Nice light scent. But typically I like to wash up with these um, aromatherapy brands when I'm getting ready to go to bed at night. Especially if I don't have to get up and go to work in the morning. Uh, to me, they really do work. They're very relaxing. And I've been using them for a few years now. But um, I love the way that that one smells. Again, this one is lavender and iris. And then one of the ones that I use regularly is this lavender and vanilla. Simply relax, it says used to just be called the sleep um version so i guess they changed the name of it. this one says simply relax and yeah smells like the norm but I, I got that and then i did get the body cream on that too on the uh sleep version then i just got a massage oil this one is inspire love and i'll use this from time to time when i'm needing a little bit of extra love on my body and of course picked up a couple of candles because they had them on sale do i need more candles no i don't need more candles but yes i picked up two uh one of them is the blue verbena and lime and it's got a nice nice light clean scent and then the other one is cardamom and vertiver vetiver cardamom and vetiver and this one smells nice too. 
says it's warm cardamom, vetiver, and white amber. It smells nice. And I'm sorry, y'all. I think that somehow or another my camera got flipped. And so I keep looking this way because it was focused this way and now it's focusing this way. So hopefully I'm not all over the place. But um, if you were interested, this uh, blue verbena and lime is um, the scents are sugared lime, zesty verbena, and garden thyme. Oh, I love that one. It smells good. So yeah, those are the items that I got from Bath and Body Works. And then lastly, as promised, a um, couple of pair of sandals that I picked up from Target. I actually had got the... It's like an off-white or a beige. When I got those, probably about a month ago in there. So I'm not sure. I think I did see uh, that same color in Target the other day when I was in there. But I got the um, I got the same pair in the color Cognac. And I think some are calling this an Hermes dupe. Um, the Oran sandal, I think, is what it's supposed to um, resemble. But I just think they're a cute sandal. Got a nice comfy padding in the footbed. So I got them in this um, cognac color. And then, of course, I picked up one that has a little bit of sparkle to it. For a little bit of extra razzle-dazzle, if you will. And this one is called Silver or Nina. And, of course, it's got that little glittery effect to it on the top of it. I got the um, the silver ones in a six and a half, which I would normally get in a sandal like this. I got a six and a half in this one. They didn't have a six and a half in it. They had it in a seven. So this one is a little bit uh, big on me. I've got a good bit of room in it, but it still fits me pretty well. It doesn't look odd. So I picked those up and then I don't want to get anything on my little bags here really should have washed my hands but lastly I picked up these cute little bags got these two well this one was the first one that, that I got I kind of wanted another new light bag in a different tone than what I would normally have and so this one is saying that it's the color tan 25 bucks picked this up at Target and I love it. It's very, very soft. Of course, I'm, uh, I know that this is like a faux leather or something like that. 90% uh, recycled polyester. Huh. Anyway, I don't know. Doesn't matter to me. It's really cute. So, color tan. This one, I think, is being called a yellow. But it really doesn't look like a yellow. See. Yes, yeah, being called yellow, but it looks to me more like a chartreuse. But it, it's really, it's a really soft, really soft light yellow color. And comparison, the brown with the yellow. And these were actually picked up a few weeks ago. Most recently, I saw this color in a different store. And it is pink. It's being called pink. It's not a... It's not a hot pink. It's not a soft pink. It's hell. It's pink. Um, but anyway, I found this one, and I did need a pink bag, a lighter shade pink bag. I've got a few pink bags, but most of them are like on the hot pink, fuchsia like side or darker pink. Um, and this one really does give a summer feel or uh, gives me all the summer vibes. So I picked this one up as well. And like I said, all three of these I found in Target. These two were found in one store. This one was in another store. And they almost put you in the mind of the Jody Dupe without the braided, um, without the braided texture on the bag. But the the way that you carry the bag, the sizing of the bag, and everything puts me in the mind of uh, the Jody bag, the Jody Bottega bag, or its dupe. Which I think I know that they're selling those in uh, TJ Maxx right now. I do have one in black, and I like my black bag so. But like I said, pick this one up. The way that the texture of the bag feels is really, really nice to me. So that was one of the bad, one of the reasons why I like this bag so much. But yeah, 
found all three of these at Target and probably gonna get a good bit of wear out of these this summer. I'm looking forward to carrying them. So that's all that I've got. I am going to wrap this vlog up. Um, really didn't do a whole lot this week. Um, just my normal going to work, getting my workouts in, doing some cooking for my family, did a little bit of shopping, of course, as usual. And of course, my baby has been doing a lot of, uh, having a lot of track meets and things like that. So um, I believe that the Walmart try on haul will probably come out before this video. Um, but then I will have another haul that's going to be coming up. It's going to be a Target haul uh, where I've been kind of collecting some pieces for the spring, summer um, season. And so uh, the next video that comes out will likely be the Target haul as opposed to the Walmart haul, which again, like I said, will likely come out before this one. But um, like I said, that's all I have for you. If you like this video, please do uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to comment, like, share. Um, and I will catch you guys in the next one.